In this video, I'll be helping you with a math topic called Using Properties of Real Numbers, as seen here in the OpenStax College Algebra 2nd Edition text. We're asked to use the properties to simplify these five expressions, and I'll start by first reviewing those properties, starting with the commutative property. For addition, this property says that two values being added can be added in any order, so they can commute back and forth. 2 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 2. And the same is true for multiplication. I can multiply two values in any order. For the associative property, looking first at addition, if three numbers are being added, I can add in any order. So I could add the second and third first, or I could add the first and second first. So my addition can be grouped in any order. And the same is true for my multiplication. If three items are being multiplied, I can multiply the second and third as a starting point, or I could multiply the first and second as a starting point. Then for the distributive property, if I have a number outside being multiplied and two numbers inside that are being added, I can distribute that multiplication here a times b and then also distribute that a to the second term, c, to be a times c, keeping the addition in between. And then for our identities, identities are about ending up with the same thing you started with. For addition, I can add 0 to any number, and this won't change that value. So adding 0 to a still gives me a. The multiplication version of this is multiplying by 1. If I take a number and multiply by 1, I'll end up with that same number. Inverse properties are similar, except that I would add a number and its opposite to get 0, and I would multiply a number and its reciprocal to get 1. So with these rules in mind, looking at our example here, using properties of real numbers. Looking first at a, where we have 3 times 6 plus 3 times 4, we can recognize this as distribution, where the 3 has been multiplied by both the 6 and the 4. So this could be rewritten as a 3 outside and the 6 plus 4 inside the parentheses. And then from here we can simplify to just being 3 times 10, which is 30 for our first expression. And then for the second, we have addition. So 5 plus 8 plus a negative 8. Here we're grouping the first two together, but the associative property says that I could group the second two together and keep that as addition. So the associative property would give me 5 plus 8 plus negative 8, just changing the association to doing the second addition first. The advantage here is that 8 plus negative 8 is 0, so 5 plus 0 is 5. And then for C, I wouldn't use the associative property here because of the subtraction, but I can use distribution, where I am distributing that negative 1, so negative 1 times 15 would be a minus 15, and then negative 1 times a plus 9, a minus 9. 6 minus 15 gives us a negative 9 minus 9, or negative 18. And then for D, we know that we can change the association, and we can also change the order of multiplication. So I could start inside the parentheses by using the commutative property, moving the 7 fourths, to be first times the two-thirds, and then I can use the associative property to multiply the four-sevenths and the seven-fourths first, the advantage here being that the sevens and fours cancel to just being one times two-thirds, which is two-thirds. For E, I have multiplication outside and addition inside, so I can distribute this 100 Multiplying 100 times 0.75 would give me a 75 plus 
then multiplying 100 times negative 2.38 would be a minus 238. And then I can combine, since those signs are different, I could subtract to get 163, with the larger sign being negative, this would be negative 163.